Hey guys, so today I am going to show you a haul before I get into um, the actual My Little Pony collection. So this is a collective haul of over, I want to say two weeks or so, because there are some Andes there, so they did need to get um, shipped. And so did the My Little Pony collection and then the limited edition in the back there. So uh, sit tight and I will just go over these with you and um, you'll be able to see the My Little Pony collection swapped and reviewed in the next video. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into this haul. I'm going to start off with the um, lonely couple that I only bought one or two of. I know this isn't going to have swatches, but I'm going to show you the bottle and try to describe the color a little bit. This first one is a Salon Perfect, and it's called Orange County Cruisin', and it's just a bright neon, um, almost like flip-flop fantasy type. Um, I need to look at them and compare them. I've been really liking these Salon Perfect Neons this year. I don't know why, but by the end of summer, I will own all of them. So that is Orange County Cruising from Salon Perfect. Next up, this is Pure Ice, and this is Wear Red and uh, Sister Chic. This is another one coater. It was one coat for me, um, and it's not, it's more kind of like a pinky red than a red red. Um, I'm not a red fan, but I, I, if it catches my eye, I do buy it, and I do try to wear it. If not, if it doesn't look good on me, I don't like it, it goes to my D-stash. So that is Pure Ice in Wear Red. Okay, next up, I have two Essie from the Summer Collection. And if anybody knows me, you'll know why I purchased this one. This one is called Blue Lala. And it's just a very pretty light blue cream. Alala was a nickname that we had for our one pup that passed um, back in 2015. So everything with Lala, um, I do try to pick up for that reason. But the fact that this is blue definitely did not hurt that. Um, I also want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers that have found me um, either just stumbled upon me, um, realized that I had a YouTube channel from Instagram, or followed me from the collabs that I've been doing with a bunch of other great ladies. So I want to say thank you and welcome and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so again, that was Blue Lala from Essie. And this next one, I am just adoring these types of polishes. This one is Sweet Souffle. And this is the white with that gold shimmer in it. Um, I do believe this is a little bit different than Oh My Majesty. Um, let me grab it really quick because I think Oh My Majesty has more pink in it. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. So, there's Oh My Majesty and Sweet Souffle. Um, honestly, Sweet Souffle looks maybe a little bit brighter as far as the color goes. Like, I mean, it is brighter here and it's a little bit more muted here. So, um, yeah, so that's the difference between the two of them. I don't know where my swatches that had that on, and it doesn't matter because I went over it already with something else. So, um, but that's Sweet Souffle from Essie. Next up, we have these two from Sinful Colors, and uh, I'm kind of on the fence about these. So, this is from the Moon Metal Collection. This one here is called Cherish Me, and it's a silver shimmer base with silver metallic micro glitters but those are not micro glitters hex glitters but those hex glitters in there they kind of put divots in them 
Like, you can kind of see that it's different. They kind of like if you took a toothpick or a pen and kind of like poked holes in it. Like you can see that. There is. Let's see if I can get closer and focused. Mm, if I can get one, that would be great. Like you can kind of see that there's indentations on that glitter. It's just so it'll get base would get out of the way. Maybe the blue one will be a little bit easier to see. But I mean, you can tell there's something different about those glitters just by looking at it. So that was Cherish Me. Here's the blue one. This one is called Pop Queen. And I mean, can you see the divots in them? And this is in a blue jelly base, slightly tinted. I mean, it's really hard to see because they're metallic and everything, but trust me, they look weird. So yeah, I'm on the fence with them. So simple colors, Pop Queen. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, I'm going to go with the three china glaze that I purchased from Ulta because they were having buy two, get one free. This one here is gorgeous. This one I think is from the summer collection. It's called I Truly Azure You. And it is a beautiful blue shimmer. You know me with my blues. And I am a huge shimmer freak as long as the shimmer shows. And this one is beautiful. I absolutely adore this one. This is again, I truly azure you. These two, I believe one might be from, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know if this is from this summer's collection or maybe last year's, I have no idea, but this is China glaze and this is sunset the mood and it is like a corally pink very pretty these all had fairly good formulas so far all of them had good formulas every single one i've mentioned <clears throat> this is kind of like a crelly formula very pretty very summery and again that is sunset the mood <clears throat> now we have one that's been around no i didn't own it before <clears throat> this one is called thistle do nice nicely and again, it's just a, I mean, these two are kind of close. This one's darker, or is this one's brighter, but in the same color family? So that has a good formula. <clears throat> and these are just straight up creams. And again, this is Thistle Do Nicely. This orientation hasn't been right. Uh, yeah, okay, now it's right. <clears throat> I'm going to try and fix that. If I can't fix it, <laughs> um, I don't know, guys. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the indies. <clears throat> and I'm actually not going to show you my little pony collection in this video because <clears throat> I'm going to do a review on it. So, okay, so these next two are from ILNP. This one here is from her new summer collection, and it's called... <clears throat> okay, maybe that'll be better. <coughs> mm. This is called Misbehaving, and this is a... I was actually disappointed with this. I thought it was going to be a lot brighter, but it's a bright pink. leans a little purple, but those hollow glitters in there, they're really weird looking. Like, I really like them. But do you see they're kind of weird? I mean, I guess they're them flakes, so they'll lie flat. I just, I like it. I mean, I like the polish. Kind of disappointed in the color a little bit, but it has a great formula. This one is opaque in three coats. 
and super duper hollow. I've got no sun today, so, and usually when I wear a hollow on my nails, there's no sun. This one is from last year, I believe, and it's called Valentina, and I love my blues with my pink shimmers. I have too many of them. I needed another one, like a hole in the head. <clears throat> Excuse me, but this is Valentina. And this one will go three to four coats to be opaque on its own, or you can layer it over like a baby blue. Um, I love, like I said, my blues with my pink shimmers, but uh, I'm on the fence about this. I ordered this after watching um, Sister Chic hate it so much, um, but it was always something, it was one that I've wanted. So I thought, I don't really care all that much about formula. Let me go ahead and get it because I do love my blues with pink shimmers. Um, a lot of times with these polishes though, whether it be a green with a pink shimmer or a blue, I've noticed especially those two colors. Once you layer them up, they kind of start to look dingy. Like they look dirty. Like I know Model's Own Indian Ocean, if I wear that to be opaque on its own, after fourth coat or so, it kind of just looks dirty. So I don't know about this one because this is a different type of shimmer in here, I believe. Um, it's a little more fine. So I'll just have to give it a shot. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So that was ILNP in Valentina. Now these next four, uh, they're going to blow your socks off when I open these. Holy shit, guys really it, like they took my breath away these are the prettiest glam polishes <clears throat> that i own first one up is why couldn't couldn't it be follow the butterflies and honestly i don't know what this is from i don't i don't buy them because they're movies or <clears throat> whatever um but if somebody would like to explain what that quote means <laughs> i would appreciate it so this is a kind of like a gray holographic, linear holographic with, um, it looks like some, well, there's definitely multi-chrome flakies in there. And then I don't know if they're gold flakies or if they're the iridescent like mermaid flakies. I don't care what they are. This is magic. This is just magic. I love these like ugh, gorgeous 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 okay so again that was why couldn't it be follow the butterflies from glam next up i think this was part of a duo i don't know i just look at the colors if i like the color i buy so this is the hero of time and this is a dark green um, I believe it's a scattered hollow. I don't see a linear in there, but I do see scattered. And it's got those green multi-chrome flakies. It looks like it's got purple in there. There might be some blue. Oh, this is just fucking gorgeous. Beautiful. I absolutely love this. So pretty. So again, that was the Hero of Time. Next one up. This was the first one I opened and I was just like, oh, yes, please. This one is called Let the Sea Set You Free. I believe this is from her new summer collection. <clears throat> and this is like an aqua turquoisey color with Ugh, look at that blue iridescent flakies there's purple in there this is hollow but again I believe it's scattered because I'm not seeing a linear in there oh Jesus guys this is just ugh. I'm afraid to wear it because I might not want to take it off oh but this is just beautiful this is opaque in two coats yeah, look at that. It's just so beautiful. And I mean, I wish you guys, it looks so much better. 
in person. You guys need to get this. Oops. And lastly is also from her summer collection. And this is called Secrets in the Sand. And this is, you could use this on its own. Um, but it's, I believe it's a topper. And this is a hollow also. Looks like scattered again. And it just has all of those mermaid flakies in it. There's the green, there's the purple, some pink. And it's all in a clear base. And I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous. And packed with flakes. So, yeah, I mean, you could definitely wear this on its own for kind of like that ethereal effect, or however you pronounce that. Um, ethereal, <laughs> I guess. Um, or you could put it over a color. But these are beautiful. All right, guys. So that is my haul. Um, I am going to go ahead and get the My Little Pony collection ready, and we're going to go ahead and swatch and review that um so yeah thank you for watching my haul and i will see you all very soon bye